don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a nice comment. If the comments are on, ring the bell if I have one. Also, check out my podcast called Soft Under the Sea with me, the Susan Anime O'Hagan, and my Gummy Bear Podcast Land as well, or my Eggcast. I will leave them in the links below. Check out my books as well, which I will leave in the links below. And have a great and wonderful day, and I hope y'all enjoy and have fun watching my videos. And check out my Patreon, where sometimes if I can't review the products in this videos, I do it over there. I do a lot of vlogs and a lot of true crime videos. So hope y'all enjoy. And yes, I bought this at the dollar store. And it's very nice. And don't forget to check out my Facebook and my online store. What was weird? Okay, so, you know when I buy or get anything, I always just show it. I don't know why. I just do. Mm, I'm taking them out right now. First thing first, I found this adorable waste bag dispenser, which is an avocado. Listen, I love avocados. <clears throat> if I start coughing, I'm sorry, I am having some really bad allergies. <coughs> mm. The So Fresh waste bag dispenser with a refill roll makes daily pickups quick and hustle free with thick bags that you can count on for containing your pet's business. Big or small, you'll love the convenience. Waste bag dispenser. scissors First one kind of ripped. <clears throat> oh, it's so hard. So I'm going to put it in here. For some reason, it is not coming out as easily as I was hoping. Trying to feed it through the avocado seed. We also got a heads up training kit. So, 
<clears throat> six foot lead with traffic handler for lead training. Easy to use trainer clicker for positive reinforcements. So you got the leash. <laughs> Treat pouch. Rubber dog toy keeps your pup occupied while you're busy. <clears throat> Treat pouch small parts can present a choking <coughs> hazard, so clicker, not a toy. Intended for dog training purposes only, do not allow dog to chew on clicker. So this is my speed the cheat pouch. This is the clicker. I got refillable <clears throat> unscented poop bags, a hundred unscented poop bags, earth rated. Earth years, our bag gives more than five million pounds of plastic a second. Made from 65% certified post-consumer recycled plastic. <coughs> Better if a better community member, a better workplace, a better environment. Okay. Then I bought two bags to put the stuff in because I couldn't decide which one was best. It's also hard to tell when you have all of this in here. <clears throat> Let's see. This was $24 at Walmart. You could use it as a crossbody bag, you could use it as a fanny pack, whatever you want, basically. So I have this purple one. Did I bought this blue one. Again, it was hard to tell which one was better. Okay, let's see. It says it's twenty dollars. Crossbody slash fanny pack. And it does have another pouch. A 
if y'all haven't figured out, blue is my favorite color. <clears throat> so, gotta take this off and this off. interesting that it has like a bag of its own <coughs> another one of these seems like I'm here we have my book sense of feeling of poems and short stories I wanted to see how it looked Okay, Sophia the Living Doll by the anime. Sophia is my, is not my name. Sophia is my name, not Isabella. Dottie Smith, Chapter One. My name is Sophia Levan King. This is my story of what happened to me. It was 1972, 12 Thursday, around lunchtime. I, Sophia Levan King, was going home for lunch. My mother made green beans, broccoli with cheese, turkey. We sat at the table, drank some milk. I remember this day so well because of what happened after lunch. Yes, I say my name a lot for a good reason, which you will see why later in the story. I was a kid, about nine years old. While I was eating lunch with my mom, I started. it started raining, not too bad. So I finished my meal, got back on my bike. I wish that I didn't. I, Sophia LeVan King, got my purple bike, headed back to school. When I got near Dream Lake Park, there was this big tree with a spiral living in it, squirrel living in it. It all had the, it all had the initials K and B. I went it under the tree because it was pouring rain, thunder and lightning. I severely, Levan, Levan King, was scared, but it got worse. These women and men came up to me, put a plastic bag over my head where I couldn't breathe, but not where I couldn't, could die. Everything went pitch black. The only thing I remember was the sound of the car moving. When I woke up, I was in a big attic. It had a baby crib big enough for me to fit in. Alone with a chair cloth. They had doll clothing for me to wear. The only food was baby food, formula. They had doll wigs, blonde with curls, bright red long wig. My hair is light brown. The woman's name is Grace and the man is Jack. They named me Isabella Dottie Smith. Jack asked Grace to dress me up. She put me in a blonde curly wig with a red dress with white polka dots. Then Jack Smith picked me up and put me in a high chair. Grace started feeding me baby peas. I, Sophia LeVan King, did not like this baby food. My name is not okay with me. After they fed me the peas, baby food, Grace put me in the big crib for a nap. I am beginning to wonder if they are crazy, so bit her hand because I didn't want to treat her like a baby. Did, I didn't want to be treated like a baby. When Grace screamed, Jack came in and asked what happened. She told him I bit her hand. He got red in the face. Jack was very mad. So he took me to another room where they had belts, whips, chains. He got a chance and used it on my back six times. Next time you, get, you bite Grace, it will be even worse than this. I was bleeding all over. Grace came in. She took me to the bathroom. She pulled my dress down, used a cloth to wipe the blood off. She said that biting someone is not okay, that her hand was hurting, but no blood was drawn. Grace then said that Jack can be mean and protective. 
I must not do that again. After she was done wiping the blood, she pulled the dress back up, then took me back to the baby doll room, as she called it. Now, will you please take a nap like I asked, or do I need to get Jack to do it? I thought about saying, sure, go get him, but I didn't want to be whipped with chains again right now. So I got in the big room and closed my eyes. At first, I was lashing to my around, listening to my surroundings. Sadly, there was not much. They was far from others. No kids playing sounds. No people talking. You could hear a needed drop, needle drop. It was so quiet. I was trying to think of ways to get out of here without being caught by Jack and Grace. It seems like this was going to be harder than I thought. Plus, they had a keypad and locks on the door to the baby doll room. So it had, it would, so it would be hard for me to live, leave. I guess they had a feeling that if, if did something like this, the person might try to leave. But you ask about the windows, there are two small ones and they put bars over them. They're too small for anyone to really fit through anyway, but they have this whole house covered with traps. There's even an alarm. Grace noticed that it seemed like I was awake. She brought me a pink baby bottle. It had more than just formula in it. Some type of her medication to put you to sleep in it. I knew this because after she forced me to drink it, I, it, I slept. I never take naps, but at this point I was dreaming about having Taco Tuesday with my mom. She would make everything from scratch. The sides would be mixed vegetables, muffins for afterwards. She would put this drop cloth on the table so we could eat messy food. It was fun with the whole family. We would laugh the whole would be covered in food by the time we were done with lunch. Mom was happy she made this for these types of meals. Then we all cleaned up what would before going back to school or work for dad. Mom would hum her favorite song while cleaning. Me did I man did I want this not to be a dream instead of what was really going on? Being kidnapped was not what I thought I was going to happen to me. I wanted to work hard in school to become a vet. I, Sophie, I, Sophia, even helped at the zoo after school. I was so happy to have a zoo in town. It was close enough I could ride my bike after school. Then I would help at the kitchen soup cafe on the weekends. They had meals for those who didn't have food. I woke up after that dream. I was amazingly sadly I realized that it was dream and not what was going on, which was me dressed up like a baby doll in a big crib napping. Grace told me it was time for lunch, that it was baby pears. I just wanted to climb out the window so badly. This whole thing was annoying. I just wanted to be with my mom and family. Grace told me after lunch, we are getting ready for dinner, which means I have to get a bath, fine, a dinner dress, do my hair. She has to do my nails by painting them. She must make me look even younger than I do. Trying to be a living baby doll is a lot of work. Bag possibly use. Jeez. Rubber doll toy.
poopy bags. Cheap bag. Clicker. Loud bad boy. Also got these. They're called string link keychains. String keychains. Keychains. Cool. So. Okay, that did not stay. So I got spiraling keychains, so also from Walmart. I have no clue how I'm supposed to put them on. Anything, because I'm not sure how to do that. Question of the day. I don't know to do with the one that ripped. Where is it? You ripped. is gonna <coughs> so I think I want two of these not really sure how to get a spiral on here Okay, Walmart. Let's see. L I L O. <coughs> That's right. I had something else. Okay, keychain was three dollars and eighty two cents. C L diary. That's not important. F A G ladies. Fourteen ninety seven. Union suit twenty two ninety eight bag seventy four cents crossbody twenty so feel but <coughs> bag twenty four dollars so a total of a hundred thirteen and thirty three cents. <coughs> 